In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate the Roland Vocoder VPO3 into a DAW like Ableton Live. You first need to install the drivers, which you can get from the Roland website. Once the drivers are installed inside Ableton Live, you can open the preferences. And in the audio section, under the audio input device, you will find the Roland VPO3. Let's select that. And now on any audio track, I can switch the input to 1, 2, so it's stereo. Record enable the track, turn on monitoring. And now when I play on the synth, you can hear the audio from Ableton Live, and of course you can now record it in. Now we just heard the direct synth engine of the vocoder, but let's see how to record the vocoder. I'll bring down the level for the strings and the human voice. I'll push up the level of the vocoder. Now normally you will have to use a built-in mic, but let's see how we can use a track from Ableton Live as the source for the modulator. Back in the preferences, you will see the VPO3 device has two inputs, but has six outputs. So let's see how we can make use of that. I could set the output device to the VPO3, so then I can send the audio from a track in Ableton directly to the vocoder. But then I won't be able to hear this in Ableton. I will only be able to hear it on the onboard speaker on the vocoder. So workaround for this is to combine your monitoring output with the output of the Roland VPO3. We can do this by creating an aggregate device that combines both the interfaces in the audio MIDI setup page. You can access that by going to the utilities and in there you'll find audio MIDI setup. Let's open that up. Now you can hit this plus button here and you see the option for creating an aggregate device. Now in this aggregate device, I can choose what I want to combine. So I'll choose the built-in output of my laptop as well as the VPO3. Alright, so now we can quit out of here and back in Ableton Live, we can use this. We won't see it yet. We will have to restart Ableton Live to see it. So I'll quit out of Ableton real quick and open it again. And now let's check our preferences and we can now see the aggregate device. So let's set the aggregate device for both the input as well as the output. You want to make sure all the combinations are enabled here. Now I want to hear the audio from the vocoder. Right now nothing's coming through. So I'll select an audio track and set the input to 1 and 2, just like we did before. Let's record enable the track and turn on monitoring. Let's just hear the built-in string synth. Alright, so that's working. Now what about the vocoder? So I look for a vocal sample in my browser. You keep waiting Let's say this one. I'll add it to this audio track. Now if I play this clip, you keep waiting. that's what it sounds like. So we don't need to hear this, but we need to send it to external out, and in the second drop down, we'll set it to output number 5, which is basically the microphone input. So now when I play this track, we don't hear it, because the sound is going to the vocoder. So let's bring down the synth and bring up the vocoder. And now when I play on the synth, you can hear the output of the vocoder. So now it's just a matter of recording the audio from the 3 audio track. We can also bring in the direct sound in. That's just the direct signal layered with the vocoder. The clipping is not from the vocoder, but just from Ableton Live. I have the audio track a bit too loud. Cool. So that's how you can take any track from Ableton Live and send it out to the vocoder and bring it back in and record the audio. Now let's see how we can change the formant of this vocoded sound. On the front panel, you only get a tone control that makes it dull or bright, which is nice, but there's also a formant control which is hidden in the menu. So let's check that out. Hold down the memory button and tap 10. Now you have two options here that control what the mod ribbon slider controls. Right now it's set to 2 which is this formant mode, 
But by default, it's probably set to 1 for you. So let's hear that. As you can hear, the mod ribbon is just controlling vibrato. So let's go back into that menu, hold down memory, tap 10, and switch this to option 2. So now that mod ribbon controller is controlling the formant of the sound. And this is clearly different from the tone control, which is just an EQ. Cool, so those are a couple of features on the Roland VPO3 vocoder synth.